<laughs> Dan from Long Island on the instant feedback. Hey, Howard Stern imitators, who shall remain nameless? Why won't Hollywood Howie mention you guys? Yeah, obviously he doesn't want to. <laughs> Some apparent reason he can mention everybody else's name when he he's, uh, has a problem with them. Ever heard him back down from uh, mentioning Imus or DeBella or Man Cow or any one of the other numbers of radio personalities that are on the air? that he said sucked and have no talent and everything else, but he mentions them. For some weird reason, uh, our names are not mentioned. Everyone knows who the hell he's talking about. We're flattered. That means we're not in the same category as the, the true imitators of your show. No, I guess he, he mentioned the other people's names because he figured people would tune over, listen, and go, oh, he's right, they do suck, and then come back to him. Right. But for some reason, he won't mention our names. Interesting. <laughs> Ooh, give me a sea breeze, Rob. <laughs> KJ from Queens. He was blatantly dissing you guys today and didn't even have the balls to mention your names. That's good. Well, thank you, Mr. Imus. We appreciate that. Ah, that's good. Yeah. That's it. Uh, how you doing? It's uh, 2.53 on uh, the fan. This is Howard Stern. <laughs> <laughs> Looking a little familiar, isn't it? Uh, I'd watch your own movie, man. <laughs> Get out of here. I don't care. All right, let's go to the phone. F you. See what people are saying today. 212-757-1027. Jeff, you're next on NEW. What's going on today? Yo, man, I heard uh, oh, uh, Howie this morning was dissing you. Uh, yeah, and we were told... He wasn't saying your name or nothing. He was just saying the two boys. No, we were told we're not allowed to talk about him, uh, you know throwing a tantrum and crying like a little baby. Oh, because we all got to be team players. And kicking us out of his little press conference. There you go. We, we got to be team we, players. We delayed his press conference 20 to 30 minutes because he had to get us out of the room. Yeah. We what got another you, thing for you. What were you afraid of, Howard? We were just sitting there to check it out. The company told us to be team players, so we went down to check it out. That's Support it. Him. You know, he he's... thought we had this big, huge plan that we were going to like try to disrupt his press conference. No. That, yeah. He went over you guys quick. It's been done. No, oh, that's fine. You know, I don't know what he was scared about. I don't know why he had to cry like a baby to our boss. We weren't going to do anything. I think you boys are getting set up at uh, going for going to California, though. Well, whatever. Thank you, Jeff. You got it. And then in the paper, he takes a, a jab at NEW, you know, calling us all imitators of, of his show. Yeah. Uh. He's the biggest rip-off artist there is. His brand-new Son of the Beach TV show. I, I think I've seen that done a couple times, Howie. Police squad. Police squad, airplane movies. Are you going to acknowledge that? I'm ripping them off. <laughs> hey, he doesn't say he's ripping off uh, the Zucker brothers and Abrams from the airplane movies and Police Squad. That show is an embarrassment, too. Don't even listen to what you read. That thing will never make it. FX should be ashamed they picked it up. Every other station, every other uh, TV company in America said no to that thing, including our own company, CBS. <laughs> Oh, and we're supposed to be team players and yep. not talk about it or anything. But we weren't. We didn't yesterday. We weren't going to today. But if he gets on the air and starts talking, I don't want to hear no names were mentioned because, God damn it, you know who the hell he's talking about. So what, are we supposed to sit here like a couple of pussies? You know, I'm tired of it. The funny thing is the, the company thinks we're not team players. I so. invented television. So <laughs> <laughs> so we, we figured, what the hell, let's break the ice. We'll go to his press conference. We were invited as a radio station. Yeah, so we, we have the there. proper credentials and everything. We, we went sat down in there. The back. We're like, okay, the, the company doesn't think we're team players. Howard's doing a press conference. I, I want to check it out. So we sat in the back row. We didn't even make a scene. No, we weren't going to sit up front and try to make a big scene. We were in back. Like where the, you're out of camera range or anything. If we wanted to start a scene, don't you think we'd sit up front where the cameras were or something? No, we just wanted to sit there. Uh, you know, excuse me, Howard is a celebrity, you know, in New York City uh, and, and, and the the country. He's a celebrity. It's newsworthy. We're down there checking it out. Not for long. No. <laughs> it wasn't long before Mr. Security Man <laughs> escorted us out in front of everyone. Removed. Made us look like two complete idiots. I, I invented the press conference, Rob. <laughs> you, you guys should have saw the looks we got when we were getting escorted that out. That was, guys. Just like we were, like, like we were the scourge of society, and we weren't even going to do anything. We just wanted to show our support. <laughs> and and the, the guy that made a career out of sending people to press conferences, laughing his ass off, 
as uh, Stuttering John goes into press conferences and just disrupts the whole thing. And he would just laugh. And if anybody else threw Stuttering John out, what would Howard say? Oh, those pussies can't take it. Don't want to face me? Don't want to face John? Don't want to face... Oh, you throw him out. Yeah, what's the matter? You can't take it, you pussy? We were just sitting there to watch. He got right on the phone and had us thrown out. Thrown out. I invented a pussy, Robin. <laughs> The lunch sucked anyway. Half a dry roast beef sandwich. Jesus Christ. Uh, thrown out like the trash that we are. Made us feel good. <laughs> As we attempted to be team players yesterday. Didn't work. Did Little it? support. You know, sitting down there. We were talking to the girl from Fox News. You know. Looking at Penny Crone's face fall. <laughs> you know, we were just having a little fun. That's all. Wanted to just hang out. You know what the funniest part of the whole thing is? They escort Opie and I out of the building, out of the Plaza Hotel. They wouldn't even allow us to leave on our own. They and had to make sure we were going to be out. And inside, unbeknownst to them, seated is Psycho Mark, <laughs> who didn't get thrown out because they didn't know who he was. But the most dangerous man in, in media history, Psycho Mark, was sitting there the entire press conference with our PD right over his shoulder, making sure he didn't say anything. That's the funny part about that whole thing, because they probably were all relieved, like, oh, thank God. Thank God those guys oh, are, okay, out Anthony, here. are out of here. They were right, going to cause a scene. Everyone can calm down now. The trouble is gone. There it is. Psycho Mark in the middle of the pack of reporters. <laughs> I think at one point, though, Psycho Mark did stand up and go, Hey, Imus! Hey, Imus! <laughs> <laughs> but that was after we were thrown out. We just wanted to hang. Team players. Little support for uh, Howie and his, his little TV show and everything. Because he's going to need all the support he could get for that piece of crap. And what kind of thanks do we get? What kind of thanks? What audience would he think would watch a show like that? Maybe uh, ma basically men? Men, 18 to 49. 18 to 49? Well, who who's the number one show in Afternoon Drive for men, uh, 18 to 49? Uh-oh. Um, that would be um, um, hmm. Mike and the Mad Dog? Absolutely, <laughs> Mike and the Mad Dog. No, no, we're beating that. No. <laughs> no, we don't want that out there. No. Uh, you know, I, I, think, I think if we were all, if everybody wasn't so goddamn paranoid, that, uh, sure, we, we might even watch it, talk about it. And uh, maybe uh, bring some more people to his little TV show. But, he, F it. He didn't want us there. We couldn't sit there. We couldn't even sit to watch the trailer. They threw us out before they even rolled the trailer. <laughs> didn't want us there. He was paranoid we were in the audience. Uh, I'm quite flattered by that. Uh, I'm sure if Scott and Todd were there, he wouldn't have made a huge thing. Wouldn't have thrown them out. Of course not. Anyone else? I miss... Like a mad dog. <laughs> Gotta thank you, Howard, for letting me stay. I saw you throw out Opie and Anthony, those two low lives. I like the show. Nothing better than watching a little tight gas in a bikini. <laughs> so that's what happened yesterday. That's it. You're right. We weren't going to say anything, but I mean, we can't sit back like idiots while one side gets to lambast us. It's just the way it is. Thank you. All right, Andy, can we give away a few of these? Because we definitely got to move on here. O and A talking out their ass. No, we're not. All right. We just talk the truth. Talking out our ass. Isn't that funny? You just say what happens, yet we're talking out our ass. Bob, what's up? Yeah. Hey. All right, I called Bob. you guys before. You yeah. guys know my voice. Yeah, of course. I know. You trash right. us all the time. Now, now without, without just being an idiot puppet, explain your point. All right, here's my point. Oh. And please, I won't curse, so don't... I've called you guys in the past. You know that. Yes. I listen to you a lot. I work and I listen to you guys all day. Okay. I listen to Howard my whole life. Yes. You guys 100% steal bits. And I'm not talking about borrowed bits. I'm talking about you all take right. exact incidents that he has done, bits he's done. Like? What? I can name a million of them. Well, do you want give, a couple? Give us a couple of examples right. of how we've done exactly what Howard okay. has done. Okay. You ahead. guys had a guy in there one time, mm -hmm. and you had another guy eat a Twinkie out of his ass, I'll say if that's allowed. It's like the Jackie eating the, uh, the uh, marshmallows out of another guy. That, never, that never happened. No one happened. Ever... I, I'm, I'm telling you, I heard it on your show. Who, I heard it on ate, show. who ate 
who a made Twinkie the Twinkie Adam? You had two. You guys had the two freaks come in. The one guy had to eat marshmallows out of the guy. Oh, That's not eat. true. It is true. It I happen. heard it. I'll tell you what happened. We right. had a big fat girl come in and sit on a cake, and a guy had to eat cake off her ass for tickets. Now, if you want to. In, in some convoluted way, try to make it like that's exactly what Howard did. Then Howard invented uh, breathing and walking, too. No, that's being... Uh, you guys, well, you're being a little vague. I'm not being vague. You guys are telling me that you don't see any resemblance to your show to his show. A resemblance? Sure. A resemblance. How about like an identical twin resembles his brother? Hey, Bob. Yeah. I could bring up stuff that he flat out took from us. Name one. Uh, all right. You'll the, never the, convince the, him. The, the, no, no, it's not. That's not true. Remember the time um, Howard and the crew were wearing Depends until uh, someone leaked. Yeah. Aunt and I did that bit in Boston. In Boston, three days before he did, and we had all our listeners pound his fax machine, yelling and screaming. I know you guys listen to him probably as much as I do. I'm just saying it, it worked both ways. I you, but true. You probably know? did. You want? You want? No, you, Anthony. You wanna... Anthony, I still hear you mention every show he does every day. Now, I'm well, wait, whoa, 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 wait, Bob, please, Bob, Bob please ahead. now listen to me for, for a ahead. second. I will listen to you. If, if you want to say that, that I am not up until he's off the air. I, I get up probably 9.30. I go right to the computer and start trading stocks. Uh, Anthony, I don't, yesterday, I don't you, listen. yesterday you mentioned stuff he said on his show. Like what? Yeah, with the, the and I know you said it again today with the sea breeze. Yesterday you mentioned him talking about California. Now you're not hearing the show, or somebody's giving you a transcript of I'm, the show. No, I'm hearing from other people I'm, around the station that go, "What, what a fag! Uh, he's drinking sea breezes." Sure, I, I hear that, but no, I, 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 Bob, I don't trust me when I tell you, I've, I've known Anthony for a long time. The guy, it's, it's not. Possible for Ant to get up there. I'm not up. I'm not up to listen. I please understand. That you're not, it's not that you're not going to. You're not going to convince me. Do people feed us a, a line or two around here that they might have heard him say? Sure, of course. I'm not going to lie. But I, I haven't listened to his show in a very long time. You know, you I got, checked him out. I checked him out right after he uh, announced the whole uh, separation thing. I was, I, that's I went, right. And I went on there and said it was some of the best radio he's done since like. And I, I remember know, you saying that. I since remember like you saying. Uh, but I remember you saying that and saying that oh he's like he uh, he needed higher ratings. I remember you saying that. Needed higher ratings. No, I, you said it like like this guy needs any anything else to talk about. He has such high ratings now. His ratings are even higher because of it. We, you were complimenting. We I, I've complimented yeah. Howard yeah, yeah. enough, and we're and we're sick and tired of like hearing Howard cry about us. So poor, no one else Howie. can do radio in New York That's except not true, Howie. but I'm saying you got you know, it's, it's like singing I want to hold your hand and saying you wrote it. You guys do exactly what he does. It's That's not a exact. fact. I, I listen to I listen. I, you know, I I tell you, hey, I listen Bob, to you all the time. Bob, you're delusional. If you I'm not delusional. No, listen to I, me. I listen listen to, to me. My whole life. Listen to me. Let me exactly, get... and that's why you think like yeah, this. Yeah, I thought you were getting divorced because you got divorced. Yeah, that's what it is. I, I, I really, mean it. I I'm, I'm really doing taking doing it a little Bob. far. To tell you the truth, when he announced that he was being separated and no one knew before that, I'm like, Jesus Christ! At that point, I'd been out of my house for about two months. So, so you like, copying you? Yeah, right. No, the fact of the matter is, I didn't say anything, and uh, when he announced it, I'm like, great. Now, if I do announce it, people are gonna, uh, people are gonna say, oh yeah, him off. I, ooh, I invented the voice, <laughs> Robin. Okay, you remember you got on, you were saying how a uh, man cow is stealing your stuff. That's what Howard always said. Man but but man cow did. He stole Whip Him Out Wednesday. Dude, so what? Just because something really happens, uh, we can't talk about it? It, it, it killed us. Uh, the exact well, Bob, that he said Bob, it. I'm going to hang up on you if you uh, don't allow I'm us to have a conversation to with I'm you. I'm listening to you. First of all, you're delusional if you think Howard was the first to do this type of radio. He has all you guys brainwashed thinking that he invented all this stuff. This should, Well, I almost cursed. This crap has been going on a lot longer uh, than Howard. I used to drive in 83, 84 when he first came guys, around. I listened to the radio morning, noon, and night. I drove were, for 10 there, hours a there, day. There were guys doing... There was nobody around there here were, doing it. There were guys doing lesbian stuff before. Was, I promise you, there was, I was fanning the radio. That's why I listened there to you guys. There were go, guys doing lesbian radio before Howard. I know that's hard for you to swallow, but it's true. If you want to do some research, 
Look up Steve. Not Dunham. that important to me. It's just that well, it's very evident that well, you guys are no, doing exactly if, what he does. If you, you know, you should have all the facts. Though. But you guys used to make fun of him with the lesbians. Now you have lesbians in there every day. I never made fun you of them. Definitely that. didn't. I heard it my, with my own ears. I'm not hearing it Bob, second hand. With this, with this guy's logic, though, it's like it's like saying. Uh, Oh my God! Look, look! Uh, uh, one baseball player is ripping off another one because he goes out there and hits home runs. Well, well but what I'm saying is, one baseball player is copying another player's style when he crunches down like Joe Morgan. Uh, that's what I'm saying. Uh, You're taking an exact style, exact, no different. That's not true. That's your opinion. Yeah. No, you're going to tell me that. Uh, well, uh, you know, Bob, I don't even have to, to defend our show. All I know is there's enough people out there that listen to us and know what's what the deal is. That we do come up with a ton of original stuff. End of conversation. I don't, I don't hear. End of conversation. I don't hear it. I don't hear it. You right. don't hear it because well, you're one of the, you know, the Howard guys, and that's fine. That's not true. Well, I, I laugh I at a lot of things. I, I hope our listeners. I hope our listeners defend us uh, as much as you defend Howard. I know. I, I appreciate that, but it's not true. It's not true. There's they cite stuff. Not he, I've been hearing Howard do it. They cite stuff, and I say Howard did this. So Howard's long. made a career, years and years, of getting people to. Uh, believe everything he says and when he that's says right. that people are ripping him off and he invented this and and uh blah 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 uh, people are going to buy it and you're one of those types of people that just step fast you, believe you, it these guys holding up the signs and the, you know and the hey, dude, how about, going how about that's, but, that's all stutter and john dude how about butt bongo fiesta yeah, yeah. Well, remember I, that yeah remember butt bongo i remember it well call howard and ask him where he got where the idea he got butt bongo the idea? not you us guys? but no not us no but right. see if he'll be honest with you uh, but where did, i haven't got ask him ask him ask him he's always busy when i call ask him dude 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 ask him if he used to get tapes from uh, Chicago and, and get copies of Steve Dahl's uh, radio show. Just ask him. You had mentioned uh, Steve we're Dahl on it. before. We're honest, uh, we're honest uh, on this radio show. Ask him those two questions. See if you get a real answer. You won't. I, I couldn't even you get won't. in touch with the guys. You won't. I, I, listen, I don't believe you. Hey, I listen hey Bill, to you. what's I, up? I, I listen yeah, to I was listening to Stern the day that he heard about Bob Bongo Fiesta and said he wanted to do it on the air. Yeah, it was two DJs up in Maine. Yeah, I heard it the yeah. day he did that. I, I remember that one because okay, I was you're listening to it. That he was back when he was still funny. <clears throat> and then he took it as his own and... No, he, this guy just said he acknowledged it and said, I want to do that. Yeah, and, and he ripped it off. Indicate? Bob, and ripped it off. And then after that, he, he made it, it his own. That was it. And now if anybody else does Bob Bongo Fiesta, he's going to sit there going, oh, I invented that, Robin. <laughs> right. Uh, there's one of your guys. The guy hasn't been hey, original hey. since Kinnison Tom. You guys Tom. finally had balls enough to actually put me through. I'll give you that. You always hang up and say, oh, you can't curse, and I've never cursed. No, because you, know, you, but, but you, no, know because you come on, and, and then you you tell, I know who you You don't want to discuss. Right, you stuff. tell a story, and then you jump in with a Baba Booey and Stern Rolls. I never rolls. said Baba Booey in my life. And after a while, it gets stupid and boring, man. No, but you, but you point off and say, like, you hung up because I curse because you want to look like you're honest. And, uh, but I've never cursed, and you always say, oh, you can't idiot. curse, man. <laughs> right or wrong? Well, we let you throw to a uh, disgusting because you don't want to talk. Right, but right or wrong, what I think that is true. Right, right or wrong is that? What I would have to hear a tape. I don't know. Come on, man. You know you're I'm, not I'm, doing I'm, it. And I'm being honest. I don't, we I don't hang remember. up on plenty of people and dump out of their curses on a daily basis. I w I wouldn't call it a curse, so I wouldn't get on the radio. I call for the goof factor. All right, you know what? You guys go ahead and keep copying. I'll keep listening. Uh, okay, when there's nothing Bob. else on the radio. Well, thank you, Bob. Right. At least we got every you day. That's true. Well, oh, okay, every day. Hey, Bill. With the train. Bill, thank mm -hmm. you. No problem. All right, man. Bye. There you go. I don't know why we entertained that for as long as we did. Whatever. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know the faithful listeners know that we do enough original stuff on this show. Uh, that's all that matters. I don't please. care. We work too hard to, to be labeled that. And, and, you know, Howard gets to say that in the paper today, and we're told we can't <clears> say a word about it. So unless you're on the air just sagging tunes or doing news or, uh, I don't know, that's, I guess that's it. Unless you're sagging tunes or just a news broadcaster, um, you're ripping off Howard. Right. <laughs> but the fact is, we were thrown out of his press conference when we were trying to be team players because the company told us to be team players. So we figured we'd make the first move. Mm -hmm. I, I even even uh, tried to get into his birthday party. Thought it'd be cool just to hang. Wasn't going to sure. disrupt it. Mm -hmm. We weren't allowed to do that either. No. So. Keeping us at, di at distance. But we, de we definitely try to be team players. We do work for the same company. Yeah. But it was a big deal that we were at his press conference <clears throat> yesterday. Such a big deal. What is he scared of? I don't know. We're not even in the same day park. All right, and back to the smash. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, by the way, for the ONA fans, the plaza is also 
where we uh, got kicked out. Oh man, I got I gotta tell you this story. Hold on. So back in the day, this uh, this stupid Howard Stern, we were working at NEW. Here's the front of the park plaza, and. Howard was doing a press conference for his TV show, uh, what was it called, Son of a Beach or something like that? Another one of his projects that failed miserably, by the way. But he's the king of all media. So me and Anthony decided, with our guys, that we were going to go to the press conference. So we went during lunch, or before our show at NEW, I think it was around lunchtime. So we were in there, and they were getting ready for the, the press conference. Me and Anthony were sitting in the back row. And then word got out that we were there and people started coming up to us and a lot of the Howard people actually were like, we're big fans, but are you guys going to do anything? And me and Anthony were like, no, we're actually here just to check it out. Because back then we were actually trying to play nice with Howard because we were working for the same company. And long story short, we're like, why isn't this press conference starting? And it's getting later and later. Me and Anthony grabbed sandwiches. We're sitting in the back. We're like, what the fuck, man? And we truly weren't going to do anything. I, I would love to say we were, because that's a better story. But we honestly just went to check it out and maybe, you know, show him, like, we all could be cool. Don't need to work together or any of that shit, but we could at least be cool if we're working for the same company. So, then we get a tap on the shoulder by security guys. And like, come with me. And they walked us out of the plaza. At that point... Right right in front here was a limo. Howard Stern was waiting in his fucking limo until we got kicked out of the press conference. He basically, it's not basically because I know, because he called up my general manager, Ken Stevens at the time, screaming at him going, get those fucking guys out of the plaza. And then he told the other people, I'm not going in there until those guys are removed. True story. And then we got in a ton of trouble even though we swore that we were not going to do anything. 